Chain of Lakes is an incredible asset here in Northern Michigan. It's a collection of 12 lakes and interconnected rivers. It starts up in Ellsworth and it traverses through Bel Air and it ends in Grand Traverse Bay on Lake Michigan. You can paddle over 100 miles straight um, and not paddle the same stretch and only have one portage at a dam in Bel Air. It's pretty impressive. The Chain of Lakes Water Trail is a flat water system, which is a really cool and unique water trail. Because a lot of them, you have to have a car at the beginning, you have to have a car at the end, and you have to be able to shuttle. With the Chain of Lakes being a flat water system, you can start at one point and you can paddle out and paddle back, or you could, for example, circumnavigate an entire lake. Um, and so you start at one point and end at the same point. So there are so many different opportunities that you can do on a flat water system that aren't available to you when you're on a river system. And there are some really beautiful natural areas as well with miles of protected shoreline where you just can feel that you're out in nature. You can see beavers and you can see minks and herons and just an assortment of wildlife. And then if you head down to the lower chain, you get those larger lakes like the Caribbean Torch Lake Water. We also have four trail towns along the water trail. So Ellsworth, Central Lake, Bel Air and Elk Rapids are all communities along the water trail. You could stop and rest, get out um, where there are great restaurants. Enjoy yourself, get some ice cream, um, and enjoy the rest of your day. There are over 84 access sites, and at each of those access sites there are signs so you know where you are along the water trail, and those signs include information about distances between access sites, the level of paddling experience you're going to anticipate, bathrooms, parking lots, all that stuff. But also important to us, it's stewardship and safety. Tips like making sure people are wearing their PFDs. So all of that information we consider just as important as the water trail information, because we really feel that it's great to get people out and we want people to have an awesome time and enjoy their time out on the water. So in addition to being able to paddle and go out in the communities, there's so many other things that you can do in Northern Michigan that once you're off the water for the day, for example, you could go hiking at Grass River or maybe mountain biking at Glacial Hills Natural Area or visit one of the many orchards and really experience the communities and the life that's up here in Northern Michigan. It's pretty awesome. <laughs>